Now, a pistol used by the Kelly gang at the siege in Glenrowan will be placed under the hammer in Melbourne tonight. The gun was owned by Ned Kelly's brother Dan and is expected to fetch up to $125,000. Our reporter James Bennett went along to have a look. Well, good morning, Michael and Karina. I'm here in Hawthorne with a very special piece of Kelly gang memorabilia. This is the pistol that was owned by Ned Kelly's youngest brother, Dan, who was just 19 when he died in the infamous 1880 siege of Glenrowan. And tonight it's up for auction. Here to tell us about it is Charles Lesky from Lesky Auctions. Charles, I'll give this uh, rather valuable piece to you. Thanks very much. Tell us a little bit about this weapon. Well, uh, as, you, as you said in your introduction, it, it is rare. Um, it's the only gun that has been definitely associated with Dan Kelly. Uh, it looks like he got it as a teenager, which probably wasn't unusual at the time for a country lad to have a gun. It's a bit of an old uh, firearm as well, single shooter. Um, would not have been a state of the art at the time, but probably appropriate for a teenage kid. And, he was probably very happy with it, so happy in fact that he um, engraved his name on the, on the butt. That's the key to authenticating it? Oh, there's, a, there's been a number of um, uh, expressions over the years. It's, it's been in the same family since 1903. It was bought by um, a gun dealer in Queensland in 1903 as just a pile of old guns. Um, 1903, uh, being a Kelly or being a... Being a uh, Bushranger was not quite as romantic as it is considered today. Nobody was thinking of the Kellys as latter-day Robin Hood and Merry Men. So these were um, robbers. Um, unfortunately, they killed a number of people as well. There's no evidence that this gun was used to kill anybody. Um, um, but uh, it's been looked at by experts. It's been um, authenticated as being uh, of the type that um, was in use at the time. Um, and we're pretty confident that it's the right, uh, the real thing. And you expect it could fetch somewhere around the $100,000 mark? Uh, yes, the, the owner uh, who's put it up for auction um, did so um, in the face of many requests. Um, people have wanted, it, wanted to buy it from him or from uh, the family over the decades. Uh, and there have been offers right, left and centre. And he felt that the best way to establish what it's worth and where it should go is to put it up for public auction. Um, we've sold a lot of iconic pieces of Australian uh, memorabilia. Bradman's baggy green cap, um, uh, Farlap saddle, uh, Brownlow medals, things like that. So we established a figure that we felt um, was fair, um, but there's no guidebook uh, on Kelly gang guns. Um, this is the first one to come up on the market. Uh, we'll see what happens. Where do you think it will go? Is there any indication as to if it's likely to be picked up by a museum or go to a private collector? Um, certainly um, a number of um, people associated with museums have viewed it or have asked for more information. They've asked for the documents and letters that accompany uh, the gun and we've been happy to provide those but nobody has said yes we're definitely bidding. People tend to play their cards close to their chest. Um, and it was on display in, uh, in Beechworth over the weekend. A lot of people came and looked at it. Uh, whether they're the sort of people who want to own a piece like this, it's hard to say. Charles Lesky, thank you very much. Uh, well, it's seven o'clock tonight, Michael and Karina will find out exactly how much something that is older than Michael Rowland's puns is worth. <laughs> Ho, ho, ho. I do say that James Bennett did look very uh, dainty there in those elegant white gloves. Oh, I th he think? was just wearing one white glove. Be yes. nice, be nice. The two of you need to play nice. They, they fitted him very, very nicely indeed. <laughs> but one thing that is worth uh, uh, slightly more than that gun is a painting of Ned Kelly. Yes, uh, one of Sidney Nolan's celebrated series of Ned, Pelly, Ned Kelly paintings there. You see it there. It's called Ned Kelly Crossing the River. Went under the hammer last night for nearly $1 million. It was the first time it had been seen in public for about 30 or so years. And Sidney Nolan uh, really had an eye for, for capturing the, the Ned Kelly story.